Are you losing steam <laughs> on your New Year's resolution for that dry January, maybe that diet? Uh, I'm not answering either of those <laughs> questions. Jen Pichano is working with a local free spirited cafe to help you stick to it with some inspired mocktails on this week's Cleveland Cooks. Cooks is back in the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging's Kitchen, and we're here with Molly Tarasso from Verbena, trying to help you, maybe if you've committed to or are dabbling in dry January, helping you keep that commitment perhaps beyond the month of January. Uh, tell me what you do at Verbena. Yeah, so Verbena is Cleveland's first fully non-alcoholic bar. Mm -hmm. So we're here to make not drinking or drinking less really easy, make it fun, celebratory, mm -hmm. um, and still lots of flavor and great drinks. So it's all about being included in the party and the celebration. I love that. And I told you that I'm a dirty martini gal, yeah. so you brought all the fixings for your dirty yeah. martini, right? Yeah, so to start with, um, we're going to use this Roots, Di Roots Divino Bianco. Mm -hmm. This is a white vermouth. It's out of Greece. Um, it's got a lot of different herbs in it, but it's still dry and mm -hmm. not sweet. Um, something that people misinterpret with non-alcoholic is they're expecting something to be overly sweet or sugary. And it's actually the opposite. And this is a really simple recipe. It's just this Roots de, Roots de Vino. Mm -hmm. um, we mix in a little bit of olive brine just to give it that dirty martini flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna shake it up. You'll be familiar with this if you like those. <laughs> and you want to chill that just like you would if you were putting a gin or a vodka in, right? That's right. And then um, to serve it, we've got these beautiful coupe glasses with the Castle Beltrano olives. And then I like to do um, a twist of lemon as well. You can just kind of roll it in your fingers to release the oils in the lemon. Mm. I like to circle the glass. Yes, I love that move. Um, and then here we go. Lovely. And it's so elegant looking. Yeah. All right, Cheers. let's try this one. Oh, yum. That's really good. <laughs> it is. It's really nice. It's it's refreshing. It's herbaceous. Are right, you have another little uh, little mocktail you're yes. going to make for us too, right, Molly? What do you got? That's right. So, um this is my take on the Sleepy Girl mocktail that I've been seeing all over my TikTok for you page mm -hmm. and um just to rev it up a little bit, I'm going to use this Kin product mm -hmm. called Light Wave. Um this has magnesium glycinate in it. Okay. So magnesium, exactly. it's um it's very relaxing and it's great for falling asleep. Okay. So I'm just gonna mix in um, two ounces of this product. It also has a little bit of just a splash of melatonin. Okay, so this is truly a, a nightcap replacement here. Absolutely. Okay. Look at the um, beautiful color on that. What is that? So this is the tart cherry juice. Mm -hmm. Again, if you've seen this on TikTok, it's all about tart cherry juice and magnesium. And then I like to mix it with this lemon lime Betty Buzz sparkling soda. This is a low sugar, really great, great quality mixer. This so this is, is your beautiful. perfect nightcap. All right. Your sleepy girl mocktail. Ooh, I like that. That tart cherry is really nice. Yeah. Thank you so much, <laughs> Molly. Let's try this. That looks good. All right. Now